Okay. So, but I want to know um, when you guys bought the farm and how you found it. This is kind of like the story of getting a farm. That's easy to answer. You've heard of Riley Wide. He worked at DuPont's. And he told Pop Pop about it being for sale. And he got called me up and said, uh, we're going to go over and look at a farm. We come over here, and they walked all over the place. He liked it. <laughs> he wanted a farm. He wanted a farm. He didn't make up his mind that day. And went home. Next, it was either the next day or the day after, he called me up from DuPont's. He said, get ready. He said, I'm leaving the plant. I said, we're going to go over. We're going to buy that farm. I said, I just feel like I ought to. I said, I got the biggest feeling. So we come over here, and we went up and signed a contract of sale. We bought the farm, and a few days, Pop-Pop was over here again. Of course, he couldn't keep away from it. <laughs> and the man that, that had owned it, Mr. Kinnaman, told him that Pete Schaefer down here had been trying to get him to come down. For six weeks, he'd been oh bugging him. And he said after we signed that contract, said he'd come up here and said he had offered me $1,000 to break the contract. Wow. And he said, I wasn't going to break it. He said, I didn't want him to have it anyhow. <laughs> they were really nice, him and his wife, really nice. But anyhow, that's how that happened. We moved. That was... February, I believe, and we moved here in October of that year. And I'll tell you, he he never was sorry. Never was sorry. We paid thirty thousand dollars for it. My father said you'll never pay for it, which I mean is nothing today. Yeah. Nothing, but you didn't make as much money either. Right. But uh, I thought it was a lot of money. What's the actual acreage? Well, it had 125, but 10 acres has been taken away. Right. <laughs> 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 so you rented out the farmland. Did, the first when year. Did, when did the chickens happen and, and all the different various Well, animals. the first one was built in 1970. Right, right cause it burned, one of them burned. It burned down before we ever got any chickens in it. The gas company had been there that day and, and hooked up the gas. And when he lit the stove in the far end, fire went everywhere. Mm -hmm. It must have had a leak somewhere or something. I was in there putting water in the jugs. And so he, everyone was here on the farm when that happened? Yeah, and they had, oh, yeah. They had set the fans so when a certain degree and they come on, well, that heat... I mean, it went right to the ceiling, and, and I mean, it really burned fast. He said, get out of here. I said, I said, don't stay in here, just get out. So we went to the middle of the door and went out. You were a while coming out, because Bill Jones came up here before you ever got out, yeah. and I was in the house yeah. with Cheryl and Donna and said, call the fire department. And when I turned around and looked, there were flames coming out of that chicken house, and they were it so... It burned fast, there. it burned fast. I couldn't even hardly talk on the phone. So then we built it back. It was 72 when we got chickens. And those, that's the one that's still here? Yeah, no, that's the one. No, it is no. not. No, no, no. Not. we had another one burned down. There were two. We had this trailer, and it was empty because Donna lived in it, you know. Right. And when, when they left, nobody lived in it. And uh, I got a call one o'clock one night. I was asleep in bed. Edith said her daughter come home and uh, she heard something cracking. She, she'd gone to sleep, but she heard something cracking. She looked and she saw the chicken house was on fire. My mother and father was here then. Mom and dad was here living. And there were chickens in the chicken house. It was three weeks old. Wow. So do you know what caused that fire? Yeah. They come out and looked at it, and they said it was an electrical problem. They said they could tell because the chickens all scatter from where it starts. And this one was built. I think it was built in 87. It was somewhere around that time. It was when I went down to see you in Texas. Was it when? No, it, we were both gone. And he told them 
you know, where the doors went and everything, and we come home, and the doors were all on this side of the house. So they had to change them. I mean, that's where right the wind blew. You know, it would have been awful opening them doors. Last bunch of chickens I raised, I made number one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how because I had to had to finish it because pop up wasn't able and uh, that was a surprise you had pigs and goats and you said cows at one point what was that what was that time frame listen <laughs> we went up to Houghton Cheryl when was that you went with us. When we come home, Pop Pop and Dr. Jensen had got three goats and put here. What? <laughs> they thought it was funny. They thought it was funny. But we had cows and pigs right after we moved here. Yeah. Yes. They were in back, a fence standing in back of where the chicken ice, Bonky, chicken ice wasn't here then. Bonky, Bonky, who ate tea bags, right. <laughs> First one we killed, it was a cow to eat and we used nothing else and we were going to eat it. Oh, they, they said, they, they, said that night, they wouldn't eat a bit. And somebody said, this isn't Bonky, is it? <laughs> oh, no! And of course, oh, my, God. Oh, my God. dad had to say, yeah, it was, and it's like, mm, none of us ate it. Oh, but you did after that. <laughs> We learn not, not to make friends with the cows. Before you guys moved here, it, you weren't on any sort of farm. There no, we lived, of... we lived uh, Seaford. We built a house up on a hill there. Yeah, he built that. I'm assuming that Saturday night dinners didn't start until everyone had no. down and was back here. Pop Pop started that. Pop Pop started that. It was, it was his idea. No. Yeah. We but actually it got, got started when we were building. Mom started having them on Sunday, doing every yes. afternoon because yeah. she After had Mama and Pop up here. Yes, and she was home. And Cheryl, and Donald, and uh, Josh, and uh, Luke we're, we're all living here. We're all living here, all of them. Yeah, it was after church on Sunday. I tell you, about the, the time Pop up was in church, and this new family had moved in with two children. And uh, he invited him home for dinner, and I didn't have anything prepared. <laughs> but we made eggs somehow. I don't even remember what we had. Maybe I did have some leftovers, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we've had some funny times. We had a big hay ride for the church every year. Do you remember that? No, Abby. Abby was just little then. Because somebody spilled coffee on her, didn't they? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> I'll never rice. forget it. They did. We were in the hay rice. Yes. No. You were little. You weren't very big. I remember running you in the house and, and turning the cold water faucet on and just let it run it on your legs. And then it yeah. Did you spend a lot of time, did you get to ride on the tractors with comments and pop up? Did you ever get to go out on the, the field? I never drove the tractors but one time. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, <laughs> Pop Pop had, I can't remember what was wrong. There was something back there in the woods that I had to stir it, and uh, it was something had turned over or something. And somehow <laughs> I pulled that thing down, and it... It hit this thing, you know, and Conley started rearing up. It kept going right up, and he was standing there scared to death. He thought it was going to turn over on me, and he run up there quick and pushed the, the thing in. I had never driven the thing. He never asked me to drive it. <laughs> but I did ride on the combine sometimes with him when, when he was driving it, yeah. Huh? Can you drive a grain truck? Yeah, I drove some grain trucks in that before you had to get your license. Right. <laughs> I mean, you had to go and park yeah, and all that special, kind of stuff. Have have a special license yeah. for a farm. And we built a chicken house. He was still working to DuPonts. Right. And he worked till April Fool's Day. 
1979. Really? Yes. He always said he was going to retire on April Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. that's and that's funny. what he done. So, in between that time, he worked He worked to DuPont's. And yeah, he just tilled this farm. Okay, right. Just okay. this farm. That's all he tilled. Wow. And worked to DuPont's. And then he got in his head that we needed a church here, you know. And... Uh, I didn't know what to think of it because I didn't know if we could do that. <laughs> I didn't know much about that. But uh, he got her done, didn't he? He did. Yes, he did. Yeah, and, it seems uh, like anything he said is mine, too. Yes. Well, you know, Doc, a while back, he said something about uh, he used to ask Calvin to do stuff and, uh, or, or different things, and, and he, or he'd say, we've got to get this, and said, Pop up would say, "Well, I can do that," and he said, "I got the thing, and he can do anything." No. <laughs> I know, I thought he could. Sure. When we went to the Grand Canyon, we was coming home, and he said, "We got it here." He said, "My, this place looks good to me." <laughs> when was it he hired Luke and Josh? I know they wanted to go they to camp. Good. How old was you all? Yeah, they were, they were, they were like, like ten. ten well, when we actually started working, you weren't very old. We used to work for them or prior to them. We really, we probably. Used to Cost him more money than we made him. He liked it though. He he enjoyed it. He really did.